Hello, welcome to a Max 7 tutorial. This is number 43. Jitter effects, chroma key, sucka. That's chroma key and sucka, two different effects. How exciting it is to work in Max. Well, here we go. Let's just pull up a new file and make it big and get ready for some fun here and I'm gonna move my inspector in here to get ready. Um, we're going over jitter effects in this uh, tutorial and today we're gonna work on chroma key so let's just get the old chroma key object out there and adjust everything so we like it. Type a J so you get a JIT object and then just start with the CHR and you should get it right there and you can just hit return and there it is on your desk I will zoom in a bit so we can look at it. Oh, it's a pretty hello JIT chroma key. So let's put JIT chroma key down here. And what is chroma key? Chroma key is when you can feed two videos into something and then you pick a color to sort of make it transparent to show through to the other color. Uh, they famously do this with like green screens and things like that. So let's um, learn our new features in Mac 7. So we'll just go over here and click on the video. Out come our videos and let's pick something easy. Oh, look at that. It already looks like it has a blue screen. You have to love that. Um, and we'll put him there. And uh, let's just stick two videos in each of our video players today so that we're not um, limited to what we do. Oh, look at that, the Wheel of Fortune. So we've got the blue screen and the Wheel of Fortune. Just get that bottom, bottom red line to come on, and then you get a playlist here, which is just fantastic. There's your playlist number one. And then do the same thing for playlist number two. Um, sure, Dish is always a favorite with me. And one more video. Um, <laughs> I can't even imagine what's going on with that B there. Um, oh, let's try. Let's try this weird cat. No, something colorful. Okay, let's do the cat. What the heck? This is experimental, experimental new media class here. So let's be experimental. Darn it. Um, as usual, you're probably going to want all your movies to repeat. So let's just go ahead, whoops, lock your patcher and click the repeat on all of them. And then unlock your patcher. And let's get some P windows here. So just type J and then PW. And you got your P window. Let's uh, option click on that so there's one for each of these. And then we'll make a big sort of output window over here. So we can look at what's going on. Even bigger than that. Okay, it's going to be a packed screen. Okay, so connecting our playlist to our P window. And then it doesn't really matter. You can run the video out of your playlist or run it out of your P window. Hardly makes a difference. But for the sake of um, good teaching practice, I'm going to make another video line down to the left hand side of Chroma Key. And then I'll make another one down to the right hand side of Chroma Key. And that's what we have here. And then um, what we want to be able to do, oh, should I skip forward or backward here? In a typical scenario, um, I'm just going to move, yeah, I'm going to move everything over already. You usually pick some sort of chroma key color. So in the typical fashion, you would, uh, uh, let's type N and get a swatch here. Right, so there's our swatch, and we'll resize that to some size that we like. 
and what you do is we want to feed in something called color zero to the chroma key um, object here. So what we'll do, well, we need to first get it to feed together. So we'll put a pack object, that's P-A-K. So type N, P-A-K, then zero point space, zero point space, zero point space, zero point. Very nice. That way, if anything changes on the old pack object, it'll send it out. Oh, this is kind of funny. Um, because this one's saturation, we can just send it in this one. This one, it's, it's, normally you would pack, you would unpack these three and send them in these three inlets, but it's smart enough it can actually figure it out. It's like, oh, look, three numbers, I'll just spread them out. Trust me on this one. We could put another object in here. We don't have to. Um, things do get better every day. But then I was saying, we have to send this a thing called color zero so it knows what to what to chroma key. So we're going to make a prepend object and it's going to be called zero. And then we're going to make another prepend object. I know this seems a little wacky. Another one called color so that they end up being in the right order. So uh, prepend color. That's prepend space color. So when the message comes through here, it will first be prepended by zero and then be prepended by color. So it'll say color, zero, and then the color, thinking upside down as we do in all computer programming. So let's just see um, if this crazy thing works. Well, let's not see if it works because we know it's not going to work because it needs some tolerance. So let's uh, get an attribute object here, ATT, -T, there it is, and it doesn't know what it is yet, but it soon will. We'll move this out of the way, and as soon as we connect it here, then it has an idea. We lock our patcher, we say, what's your tolerance, you kooky thing? There's its tolerance, and the tolerance right now is zero. So let's lock our patcher, our patcher is locked. Let's play a movie called, whoa! Let's just turn that down a little bit. Okay. Boy, that's an annoying soundtrack. I don't know how long I'll be able to take that. Um, and we, whoops, unlock your patcher, and then remember to click the output of your chroma key to your big screen so you can look at it. There we go. Okay, now things are working more like the way they're supposed to. So if we move this around probably to the color blue, we will... Oops, got to play the other movie too so we can see something. So there's the other movie playing of the dishes. Now if we move this around to that kind of color of blue and we got it just perfect, it would, we would suddenly be able to see those dishes, but we can't see it because we have no tolerance. So let's get some tolerance going here. And you can see now it's starting to kind of fade in there. So as we move around and try to get that, that color of blue, we just about... maybe a little more tolerance. There we go. So if we pick blue now, we're essentially blue screening this guy, and now we can see the dishes. If we pick um, something peachy, more like his face, then we get to see the blue screen again, and we see the dishes sliding in behind his head. Well, this is just fascinating. What a great thing that we've already done today. But we can do more, as the cat in the hat likes to say. We can bounce on the ball and balance the cake and drop the rake, and everything else. So I'm going to just turn that volume down if nobody's really offended by that. Um, there is another uh, really cool thing that allows you to do this, which is not the swatch, but is an object called Sucka. And so um, unlock your patcher and type an N, and then S-U-C-K-A-H. That is it. And 
what sucka is is it's a kind of a grid it's a feely pad for your mouse and what it's going to do well i can almost show you what it's going to do whenever you click in it it will find the color that you're clicking in um, on the swatch chart so i'm going to lock my patcher and just click inside here it'll disappear which is what it does when you lock so there's locked and now it's going to find this color gray on the chart oh amazing look at that so perfect so and then this is now the color key um, on our very non-saturated swatch here so let's get that thing back and put it where we really think it would be much more useful and fun which is and and by the way you don't have to run this through the swatch it doesn't really make any difference you could also run it through directly from where we had the prepend zero and then prepend color so same thing um well except it has nothing to to look at right now and that's sort of the point of what i'm getting at um we can then put it over a movie right so let's make that movie a little bigger just so that you can see what i'm clicking on and we'll just size that right up there and now this is going out to the prepend zero, or it could go up to here, and we'll change it in a minute. But okay, so now I've locked my patcher. The sucker disappears, but its functionality is there. You click on the blue, boom, blue disappears. Click on flesh tone, boom, well, flesh tone disappears. Click on down here where it's dark. Down here where it's dark is now chroma keyed and disappeared. So that is a super cool ability to have especially if you um, uh, want to combine your uh, videos in a cool way you can take it from this and you can just click that's my color if you're in a painted room and your background happens to be a really weird snickerdoodle color you'll just be able to click on it and out you go how do i know that well uh let's stop mr o here and uh oh cool look wheel of fortune we can do the same thing we can make the green transparent boink and all colors near green so anything is nearly as dark as green it kind of was happy to get rid of what about white okay not so much transparent now it's mostly this video but where the white and lighter colors are we can see the dish and if you play with the tolerance you can make it more transparent or less transparent because it'll have to be close to that color let's go for the oranges here now we can see through the oranges we'll make it more generous with its estimation and now less this is just going great so let's um stop the wheel movie too and um learn another feature in max and that is the Visi objects. So um, unlock your patcher here and come over here and click on the V for Visi. And then take the grabber. Oh, I'm sorry. Under Visi, it usually comes up as all, but if you then scroll down to inputs, you only have three possibilities grabber, movie folder, and player. So drag your grabber over here and lo and behold it's me uh if your camera comes up correctly um i didn't dress up for the occasion i apologize i'm gonna make myself kind of small here whoops that's really big i'm super zoomed in oh well so let's um <laughs> this will fit much better on your desk than on mine but um let's take the output of um, of the what was this the playlist and move it up here to the camera and there I am now I'm down here on the big screen it's backwards to me wait I have to lock my patcher 
and turn this around so it's a mirror so I can stand. There we go. Woo, that's much better. Um, right, so now you've got this grabber and it should be find your camera. You can click right here and, um, whoops, if your patcher is locked, and the only thing I've got is my Logitech camera. You'll probably see your, um, what's it called, FaceTime camera? You probably have a FaceTime camera or something like that. And then click on that, and then you got the mirror left, right button. Great. And then there's you. Well, how can we uh, rearrange this so that um, unlock a patcher here, click on this, make sure I get the full frame there. And then I take my sucka object and just stick it. Oh, now here's a problem that you should know about. The grabber's newer than the sucka, so the sucker's behind it. So let's highlight the sucker object, sucka, and bring it to the front. Okay, it has to be at the front. And we put it over whatever hunk of video you want to control. There we go. All right. What do we think is going to happen? Lots. Okay, lock your patcher and uh, click on your background. All right. See, now instead of all that dreadful white wall going on there, now um, everything that's even close to white has dishes going through it. And all the junk that's in my room here, you can see so clearly along with these lovely acoustic tiles. Well, what if I don't like the acoustic tiles? You can get rid of them. There we go. Oh, and, and most of myself, too. Um, we can also uh, turn the tolerance down a little bit so we can get more exact colors. So now I can get myself back here, but I'm only losing my, my little blue panels. So, you know, what is... Um, what, what's, what's good about this? What can you do? Well, um, you can, there we'll get rid of our room again. So you could conceivably be the weatherman now, um, floating around in front of the dish weather storm. Um, you can also do other stuff. I notice here that I have a very bright red uh, mouse pad, right? And holding it up like this, I can just click on it. And now I have a movie within a movie. And it's not working too well, so I'm just going to shave the tolerance up a little bit. The lighting's not... Uh, I can also re-click on it just to get a better, more average red. There we go. So now I have this movie within the movie, and I could I even conceivably be, you know, like Mr. Dishface or something, you know? It, it, um, I could be that O guy. Um, <laughs> or something like that. Anyway, um... This is a pretty good effect, and it's Sucka in combination with Chroma Key. So, um, you know, get your green screens or your red screens or whatever screen you want on, and uh, make your little... There's got to be a better movie. I'm sorry. We can't end this with... Uh, um, i got to unlock my patcher here. And get a movie out of here. Because now, it really is time for the kitten movie, right? Probably. Um, come on. Get in there, kitten. Right there. Okay, we'll move this over here. Ozone. No, I didn't mean to get the Ozone movie. I wanted a kitten movie. Where's Ozone the cat? Oh, it is Ozone the cat. Okay. Well, here, we'll put this one there, too, a sunflower, just to make it all interesting. Okay, so locking our patcher one more time, playing the Ozone movie. There's Ozone, I guess. Hi, Ozone. And there is me. Oops. Of course, I can't see the screen now as Ozone. Oh, I didn't play the movie. There we go. Oops. Meow. Okay. Lots of fun to be had all over the place. So that's it. Chroma Key and Sucka. 
a red mouse pad, a blue shirt. This is uh, John Reed uh, just making myself invisible. There we go. Whoop. Okay. Patch well, and uh, I'll see you next time around.